In this video, I'll demonstrate a short row toe, knit toe up from start to finish. If you're a subscriber, welcome back. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm happy to have you here. If you enjoy this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. So a short row toe could be worked toe up or cuff down. I'm going to be demonstrating this as if it was worked toe up, but the concept is exactly the same for cuff down, and I'll explain the slight difference um, for a cuff down option while I'm working it. You'll need some waist yarn to provisionally cast on half of your total desired number of foot stitches. I'm going to use a crochet provisional cast on by crocheting a chain and then picking up stitches, uh, but you can use whatever provisional cast on you prefer for this step. So I just made a chain of about 12 stitches. I'm going to pick up 10 stitches from this provisional chain. So you would do half, like I said, half of your total number of foot stitches that you want to end up with for this provisional cast on. Now I'm going to purl across Now we will begin a series of decreasing short rows. I'm going to use the wrap and turn method for these, but you can use uh, any other short row method. Pretty much any short row method will work for this. So I'm going to knit to up to the last stitch. but not knit the last stitch, and I'm going to wrap and turn that last stitch. And turn. And I like to throw a slip stitch in after the wrapped stitch, but you can use, again, whatever short row method you like. So on this row, we are going to purl across to the last stitch, but not work the last stitch. And we are going to wrap and turn that last stitch. Slip that over, 
so our first short row set is complete. Now we will repeat this. So um, I'm going to slip one and then knit up to that wrapped stitch, the stitch before the wrapped stitch. like so, and I'm going to wrap and turn this stitch. And turn, and we'll slip one, and then purl. Purl up to the stitch before the wrap stitch. like so, and I'm going to wrap and turn that stitch and turn. And your second set of short rows has been completed. You would repeat these for your desired number of wraps, which will be about a third of your toe width. Um, maybe a little less, it depends on how why do you want the toe box to be or how narrow? So I'm going to do one more set here. Slip one and then I work to one stitch before the wrapped, the last wrapped stitch. Right there, I'm going to wrap and turn and do on the purl side. Slip one purl to one stitch before. Now, because I slip my stitches immediately after the wrap, it looks like that's a wrap stitch, but it's actually that stitch that's wrapped because of the bar going across from the slip. But this is the prior wrapped stitch. So I'm going to wrap this one. Oops those back in there. Do that again. Wrap. Like so. Turn. And so this is my, that was my last set for my small number of stitches here. Now we will begin the increasing sets. So to do that, you will work, so I slip one, you will work up to the first wrap stitch and you will wrap it again. So that one will have two wraps on it. We'll turn, it's a little difficult working with this short, small number of stitches here. Um, and then work up to, on the purl side, the first wrapped stitch, which is right here. And you will wrap it again. So that one has two wraps. It's already starting to make the turn, make that little pocket. So now we work up to the double wrapped stitch. And you could not bother hiding these if you would like or hide the wraps. So to hide the wraps on the right side, I go under both wraps and the stitch that they are wrapping and lift them to the back. Like so, and then I need to wrap and turn this next stitch so that it has two wraps. And then turn. And again, I slip one, but um, you don't have to. And work up to the double wrapped stitch, which is right here. And you can either choose to not hide these wraps or to hide them 
they get lifted from the back. Like so, and lifted up onto the needle to the left of that stitch that they're wrapping. And then you purl those together like so. And then you wrap the next stitch so that it has two wraps. And turn. And now I work to the next double wrapped stitch. Right there. And I will slip my needle under them, knit all three things together, and then wrap this. This is my last row. So you'll repeat these two rows until you get to that last stitch. Wrap and turn the last. And then on the purl side, work up to that stitch. I will lift those wraps from behind up onto the left hand needle to the left. I wiggle them to the left of that stitch, purl all of them together, and then wrap and turn this last stitch like so. Now, we will begin working in the round from this point. So I will knit up to that last wrapped stitch on the very edge. And it's a little floppy, but I need to hide these wraps, so I'm going to lift both wraps up, knit them together, like so. And you can see my little toe pocket. And now I'm going to turn my needles around to, to find this provisional cast off. There's a loop right there is the first loop. And I'm going to knit into the provisional that stitch right there and knit into the next one. And you can remove this as you go if you like or remove it afterwards. But if you remove it as you go, that can release those loops to make it easier to see your loops. So I'm going to do that or attempt to. I didn't work from the chain the correct side. So. There. All right. There's the next loop. Get into it. And you sh should pick up the same number of loops as you had on the other side. So four. For a um, cuff down short row toe, you would be working from half of the total number of stitches off your foot to work the same exact steps 
And then what you would end up with is a set of live stitches that need to be grafted to the second set of live stitches on your foot. So that's the only difference when working cuffed down for this toe. So this is going slow because I picked up from the wrong, if I picked up from the other side of the crochet chain, I could have unzipped it. So that's six stitches. And there's the last loop, ten, and Remove this like so, and now we can begin working our foot in the round. We have one more wrap stitch right here that we need to resolve. And so there's the two wraps right there. There's the two wraps. So this was a wrong side wrapped stitch that we now have to resolve from the right side instead of from the wrong side. So to do that, we will lift those wraps up. Again, place them on the left needle. And they're now to the left, but I want these untwisted um, and I want them hidden to the back. So I'm going to work a slip, slip, slip knit so that I can orient these three and then slip them back. So now I can knit those three together through the back loops and the wraps will be hidden to the wrong side. And I'm gonna pull a little tight to bridge that gap between the two needles. And now I simply resume, I work my foot. I work in the round. You should have the total desired number of stitches for your foot and your toe has been completed. So let me show you. what this looks like, this tiny little toe here, like so. So there you go. That is how to work a short row toe for a toe up sock. And that's what it looks like on the inside. I'm working with worsted weight yarn, so it's a little sloppy looking. Um, if you were working with sock weight at a tighter gauge, this would look a lot more neat. But, um, and of course, I'm working a tiny, tiny number of stitches. You would be working more stitches than that, but that doesn't look too bad. So that's working a short row toe for a toe up sock from start to finish.
Have you used these toes before? Let me know in the comments below. Does this video help clear things up on how, the, how these are accomplished? Let me know that in the comments below too. I hope this was helpful. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching.